Resiliency. As members of the National Guard, we must be resilient to the unique challenges we are given. But what does that mean? To be resilient means to be mentally as well as physically prepared for the distinctive situations that are presented to us. To be resilient means to overcome and gain strength in the face of adversity. Resilience is what makes us stronger. Uh, and we, we spend a lot of time and effort, and well we should, on developing the best weapon systems we can. Stronger vehicles, faster vehicles, more accurate bombs for airmen. But it all comes down to, there's got to be a soldier or airman that, that operates that equipment or pulls that trigger or you know, does what we do. Well, we probably ought to spend as much time as possible strengthening them. In 2006, the Kansas National Guard suffered the same number of suicides related to combat as it did death from combat. Major General Todd Bunting, Adjutant General of Kansas, and State of Kansas Command Sergeant Major Steve Rodina saw a clear need to prevent post-traumatic stress caused by combat tours and disaster missions. General Bunting started a multifaceted approach putting several initiatives in motion one of which was the creation of the Resiliency Center. The focus of the center is to develop curricula that focuses on building resiliency for Guard members and their families. To create the most relevant and practical information, the Resiliency Center has developed several partnerships to include the Israeli military and mental health experts, the Walter Reed Army Institute for Research, the National Defense University, as well as analyzing existing military leadership and stress management training programs, collaborating with military and civilian experts, and conducting guardsmen interviews. Through these partnerships and the expertise of its development team, the Resiliency Center has, to date, developed two comprehensive guard-centric programs, Flash Forward and Life Ties. Flash Forward is a frontline leadership course that focuses on developing resilient skills and practices for guardsmen. Since its creation, several states have participated in Flash Forward to include Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Iowa, New Jersey, Hawaii, Indiana, Michigan, North Carolina, Missouri, North and South Dakota, as well as the territory of Puerto Rico. The Resiliency Center's latest course is Life Ties, a course focusing on family resiliency in the National Guard. Along with curricula development, the Resiliency Center has partnered with the Institute for Creative Technologies to develop an interactive computer-based scenario system. This system will take warriors through different situations and teach them tools to deal with the stress that will arise over their life cycle as a guardsman. The Resiliency Center is also conducting studies to look at different ways to improve and enhance resiliency in Guard members and their families. Through its partnerships, curricula development, utilization of technology and resiliency studies, the Resiliency Center is pioneering the way to provide Guardsmen and their families the most relevant tools to deal with the challenges that arise. The Resiliency Center, forging the way towards a stronger future for our warriors and their families.